Hi everybody, I am Dave from the Polypad team and I am excited to share with you our Polypad updates for May 2023. The major update we released in May is a redesigned authoring mode. So I'm here in the file tab and I'm going to turn on this toggle of authoring mode and you'll see when I turn on authoring mode, I get all of these toggles that I can set on the canvas. I have check marks on the bottom of things I can turn on and off. Uh, I'm going to make a whole other video with a deep dive into authoring mode, but let me just share a few things about how this works. So I'm going to turn it off for a moment and go to the fraction bar. And you may know that we could split the fraction bar up into pieces. I'm going to click and drag to merge them together. We can play the fraction bar. Uh, I'll stop that. Uh, there's a few things in the advanced menu for the fraction bar, but when I go into authoring mode, I have these toggles that can control certain things of all tiles on the canvas. So for example, if I want to turn off the music tools of all tiles, I'm going to turn off this toggle, and I'm also going to turn off the rotate tiles. I can leave authoring mode to see what that looks like. You'll see in authoring mode, I can still play and rotate, but when I leave authoring mode, those changes go into place. So the play is gone and I can't access that handle to rotate the fraction bar anymore. A few other things I can do in here at the toolbar on the bottom, I could turn off the options that I don't want students to have access to. Maybe I just want those. Uh, I'm gonna to go to the tile menu and I can see that I, I now have these check boxes next to the categories of tiles. So maybe for this activity, I only want fraction bars, not even fraction circles. So I uncheck all of those. I go back into authoring mode. And finally, maybe I want to turn off this ability to split the fraction bar into pieces. So now I'm going to go into this, um, this picture of the tools in the action bar uh, that says customize. And here I can control which actions will appear for all fraction bars on this canvas. So let's say I want to turn off split. So now I'm going to leave authoring mode. I see here that I just have fraction bars and split is gone. So I've really, I've customized the options that are available for students on this canvas. I could save it and then share this link through an LMS. I could add it to a screen in Desmos Classroom, all sorts of ways to share this polypad with students. The final thing to point out that's new about authoring mode is there is a new category of tiles in the sidebar called authoring tools that only appears when you're in authoring mode. So again, if I turn off authoring mode, the last category, oh, uh, I, I only chose a few categories of tiles. So I'm going to go back into authoring mode. There's a button here to enable all. So I'm going to turn everything back on. You'll see now we have all the categories back. I'm going to leave authoring mode and show you that in the tile section, the last category is games and applications. But now when I turn on authoring mode, there is a category at the bottom called authoring tools where I can add a question builder tile and a drop zone tile. So this, um, this drop zone tile is a new tile. I'll be making a video on the drop zone tile. We do have a tutorial on the question builder tool, which you can go check out, but here's how it works in, in authoring mode. Let's say I, I add a question like two, three plus seven or something, uh, and I'm going to attach it to the question bit builder tile. In authoring mode, I, as the teacher, I enter the answer. Let's do 10. And now when I leave authoring mode, you'll see that it changes to a question mark and I can't move it. So if this is a canvas that I shared with students, this question builder tile is locked. Uh, I could enter in the answer here and see that it is indeed 10. Nice. And this uh, is the drop zone tile where I can um, I can add tiles into the drop zone and it'll organize them um, in the drop zone. And so if I go back into authoring mode, now I can, I can move the drop zone around. I can set uh, some options about the drop zone as I like, how I want the layout to be, whether it's a flow or center. Again, there'll be a, another video about the drop zone tile, but those are available in authoring mode. 
All right, let me turn off authoring mode and show you a few other things that we added in May. We have a new section called aperiodic tiles. We had Penrose tiles and the nature tiles, but we've added the Einstein hat tile. So I could explore aperiodic tessellations. Here's a link to learn more. Uh, but what's really exciting about this tile is I can select all of them. Oops, I can select all of them and use this slider to change their shape a little bit. And all of these versions of the tile are aperiodic tiles. So now I could explore how could I use this one to tessellate the plane with a rotation and a flip, uh, all sorts of ways to explore that tile. So go check those out. Uh, we added a new way to split algebra tiles. So let me add a x squared tile to the canvas, make it nice and big. We've had this ability to split it into x squared over 2, both vertically and horizontally. So you could take these pieces and split them up as you like. So that's not new. What is new is the ability in the advanced menu to change how you want to split it, both horizontally and vertically. So if I want to make sixths, I can make this 2 by 3, and now I get an x squared over 6, uh, which is really exciting. And so again, this works with all of the algebra tiles. I can make this uh, 1 by 7, and I get an x, y over 7, and all of the values um, will persist with the algebra tiles. So uh, an x is 5, so x squared is 25. So this has a value of 25 over 6, works on the balance scale, etc. And the final thing to show is just a small change to our music features. I will drag out a hexagon just to show it. Uh, we have now, um, if you have used our, our music features, you may recall there was a toggle here where you could turn on and off arpeggiation. Well, now that's just under scale. So if you wanted to turn off arpeggiation, you would just set the scale to none uh, as one of the choices under scale. So those are our May 2023 updates. Thanks for checking this video out. Again, it's a redesigned authoring mode with drop zones and question builder tile, the Einstein hat, splitting algebra tiles, and some minor tweaks to our music settings. Thanks for watching.